Honey, plug yourself in. I will, okay, relax. Where even is my charger? Eh, I'll find it later. Mom, I'm at 1% and I can't find my charger anywhere. Haley, I told you! I don't feel so good. No, hang on. That was the third time this has happened this month. I know, I'm sorry. Thanks for saving me. Honey, I've been working on a new invention. I want to show it to you. A bracelet? It's a portable charger that allows you to never run out of battery. It's finally ready for use. Really? Yep, I made it just for you. But Haley, don't tell anyone what it does, okay? Nice bracelet. Thanks. Do I know you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Henry Powers. How did you do that? Huh, I was about to ask you the same thing. I'm gonna need you to come with me. I'm not coming with you anywhere. Oh, yes you are. What? How are you? How did you take my power? Ugh, I need that bracelet. Mom, we have a problem. What, honey? Well, there was like this crazy guy at school, and he had electric powers or something, and he was sucking the battery life from me. What? He did? Yeah, but don't worry, your bracelet protected me. That must have been a power sucker. A what? There are people who recharge themselves by taking other people's battery life. Do you know where he went? No, I ran away, and then he... What was that? I think he might have followed you. Go, hide. No, I'm not gonna leave you by yourself. You can't hide from me. Leave us alone. Hand over the bracelet. Not a chance. Okay, then. Guess I'll drain her battery. Mom! Oh! I'm gonna drain all her battery life. No, okay, you can have it. Don't. If he gets that, he'll be unstoppable. She's at 2%. It's her or the bracelet. I choose her. Take it. Finally. Now let her go. All right, a deal's a deal. Uh, Mom. Mom, give me your hand. Not so fast. I'm not done with you, kid. I decided I want more power. What? Leave her alone. I'm taking her battery life. This is for being a little brat. Stop! Mom, go plug yourself in. Otherwise, your battery's gonna die, too. Say goodbye to your daughter. No! Uh, uh. Haley, grab the bracelet. No! Why, you little... Uh, give me that back! No! My power! Uh, Mom, you're at 1%. Here, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm so proud of you, honey. Come here. Want to see your boyfriend's feelings? 100%? Guess he's a keeper. Got this for you. Thanks. Of course, babe. Derek, is that you? Olivia. You two know each other? Yeah, we used to... Date! We were together for a little bit. We should all go out sometime. Yeah, we should. Boyfriend lost a little feelings. Hey, babe, do you maybe want to hang out tonight? Oh, sorry, babe. I already invited the boys over. They'll be here in a little bit. It's game night. More feelings lost. What is going on? You know what? Forget it. I don't care if it's boys' night. I have to go talk to him. Derek, I... <gasps> oh! Holy shit! Is she wearing my... Um, we, we can explain. You should have knocked. Oh! Want to get revenge on your boyfriend? Pick your revenge for boyfriend. Revenge is ready. Take your revenge. Remember to use it wisely. Hey, can we talk? There is nothing to talk about. You and I are over. No, don't say that, okay? I just found out that Olivia is with another guy. Well, you know what they say. Karma is a real... Maria, please. What I did was stupid, and I promise it's not gonna happen again. I want you. You guys have probably figured out by now, I am obsessed with music. It brings me to life. Which is why you can join me live on Tidal on April 4th using their new live session feature. You can listen to my top 10 tracks that prove romance is dead. I cannot wait to share these with you all, so make sure you join the live session. Happy 18th birthday, sweetheart. Thanks. So, I've been meaning to ask. Since I'm old now, can't I go outside? No, you are not allowed to go outside. But, Mom... Enough with this nonsense. You are not going outside. Okay. And remember, you have to heal me when I come back from work, okay? I know, I do it every day. Can everyone else heal people too? 
Uh, of course they can. It's not just you. Well, then why don't you heal yourself? Uh, it doesn't work. I have to get going. See you later. Who's there? Hey, uh, don't panic. Ah! But... Damn, you can punch kind of hard, Blondie. And I'll do it again. Who are you? I was running away from some bad people and I just needed somewhere to go. I'm sorry. I'll let you escape under one condition. Uh, okay, anything, anything. I have to come with you. Come on, please give me blue. Mom will disown me if I get red. Pink? What the hell is pink? Why are you wearing that shirt? Oh, because that's the color I was assigned. You need to go take it off right now. What? Why? You cannot be walking around wearing pink. Go put on blue instead. Okay, jeez. Is this better? Yeah, nobody will be able to tell now. Okay, good. Oh, Bailey, you got blue too? Um, yeah, I did. Why did you say it like that? You seem nervous. Like what? I'm not nervous. I heard that Martha got the color purple. Like what? <laughs> purple? That's crazy. What does that mean? I don't know, but they said they're gonna kill anyone with a different color. They're gonna what? Um, yeah, you didn't know that? Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I just hope that nobody got pink. That's the worst color of all. What did you say? Prince Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess, I can't. Why not? My mom says I have an arranged marriage <laughs> to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's Day? <laughs> princess Elizabeth! Date. It's not what it looks like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was with you, princess. I'm just gonna go. Elizabeth, you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. No more dating. What? I'm sorry, but you don't have a good taste in men. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, meet your husband-to-be, Prince Darren. Hello. Mwah. She's beautiful. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Ugh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. This is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you. You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please. Get her. Please take it. This is my last heart. And if it breaks, something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, princess. Get her! Run. But what about- Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, your majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth! Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know, because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, mother. I didn't ask. Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, your highness. You can play all the games you want, princess. I will marry you, and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not gonna find him. We shall see. Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, princess. I'm sorry. Where is the princess's heart? Well, that's the thing, Prince Darren. You may have caught me, but you'll never find where I hid the princess's heart. How dare you hide my daughter's heart? My queen, I say we send him to the torture chamber. No! It's the only way to get him to talk. Mother, please. Elizabeth, Prince Darren is right. He still won't talk. We only got his name, William. Ugh. Mother, let me speak to him, please. He will tell me where my heart is. Oh my goodness, what have they done to you? I promise to keep your heart safe, and I don't break my promises. I can't let you suffer for me. But the prince that you're supposed to marry, I can tell. He is evil. I know, William. But that's my problem, not yours. Where's my heart? Finally, her heart is where it belongs. All right, Mother. Prince Darren has my heart. Now let William go. No, dear. I'm afraid I can't do that. William is going to be killed. William is going to be killed for stealing your heart and hiding it. It must be done. 
I told him to do it. Oh, Elizabeth, you're just trying to protect him, I know. It was such a tough decision, Princess. May I speak to her alone? Of course, Darren. Don't be so sad. Get away from me. <laughs> we shall be married tomorrow. I will never marry you. Oh, but you will. That is, if you want William to live. Marry me tomorrow, and I'll convince your mother to let him live. And if you try anything, I will break your last heart. Do you understand? Do you accept Prince Darren as your husband? I do. Excellent. Now may I kiss the bride. Stop! That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. It's true, Mother. He's been threatening me. What? I warned you not to speak against no. me. Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because it was my last heart, not yours. William! Stop! Stop the wedding. That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. No, it's true, Mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me. No! Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because that was my last heart, Ugh, not yours. William, his last heart, it's broken. What happens when your last heart breaks? I'm pretty sure you... You die. <laughs> How could you? Mom, there has to be something that we can do for him. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Just be happy that wasn't your heart. Arrest him. Get off of me. You should be arresting him. He took her real heart. My heart? I can give him my heart. William, where did you put my real heart? I... <sighs> William? Elizabeth? Don't speak to me. Darling, they found it. The gods found your heart. My heart? Do you think it'll work if I give it to him? I'm not sure, dear, but it's worth a try. William, I want to give you my last heart. Please wake up. Heart oh. share. <gasps> William! Elizabeth! Oh, there you are. Good morning, dork. I am not a dork. Whatever you say. Hey, do you think my new haircut looks dumb? I don't like it. I think it looks really good. Right, you have to say that because you're my best friend. That's not true. You look great. Did you hear that we're getting a new student too? Yeah, we haven't had a new student in so long. <laughs> I know, I wonder who it's gonna be. Class, everyone meet Macy. Whoa, she's so pretty. Yeah, I, I guess so. Hey Macy, you should come over here. Take a seat next to us. Hi guys. Oh, uh, my name's Jason and this is Bailey. Nice to meet you. You should come sit with us at lunch. Would that be okay? Yeah, for sure. Good morning. Uh, you didn't leave a seat open for me. Oh, my bad. I kind of forgot. I'll see you at lunch then? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Macy, what were you saying? Girl, you better tell him that you love him. I don't love him. Are you sure about that? I dropped this. Oh, thank you. I don't even own a TV. Whatever, I guess I'll just throw this away. What is this? I guess the only way to find out is to push one. Now I just have to figure out what that exactly paused. Why did all those people freeze at the exact same time? Does this pause time? Oh, I'm gonna get some good use out of this. Everyone, please put your phones away for the test. I forgot about the test. I know what to do. Just gonna steal the answer key real quick. Don't mind me, sorry. Play. You may now begin, you have one hour. Hey, uh, can I talk to you? What's up, babe? Yeah, so I'm sorry, but I have to break up with you. What? Mm, just one second. Hey, babe. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? I'm breaking up with you. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Bye. Oh, wow. Mm. Are you trying something new with your hair? No. What do you mean? Look at yourself. <gasps> what happened to my hair? Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. It looks like a bird's nest. Looks like you have some pink strands of hair now, too. Apparently. I guess it could have been worse. It could have been country. I fell in love with an emo girl. All I want is... Very funny. You know, you kind of look like Machine Gun mm. Kelly, too. Thanks. Why do you look like Hot Topic threw up on you? Guys, okay, it wasn't me. It was my soulmate. I don't want to dress like this. You know, maybe you should. It kind of suits you. Maybe your soulmate just has a crush on Avril Lavigne. That's fair, me too. Or they might be like a super famous rock star. I really doubt that, but it would be super cool. Guys, is that who I think it is? Looks like your rock star isn't that far away after all. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh, uh nothing. You are a terrible liar. 
You know you can't go outside until you turn 21. But why? I'm 18. Isn't that close enough? No, you're not going outside. I need to know what's out there. I'm going to work. Don't try anything while I'm gone. Okay, see you later. Why is there nothing good on Netflix right now? Who's there? That's definitely not my mom. Bailey, honey, listen to me. There's somebody inside the house. I saw it on the cameras. You have to leave now. But I can't go outside. It's just this one time. The police are on the way to save you right now. What do you mean they'll save me? Okay, this is it. I'm going out the window. Wow. <coughs> Ooh. Hey, you can't touch anything. Why not? You can only touch three things today. I don't understand what the big deal is. You have to save them in case of an emergency, okay? I'm sure it'll be fine. You can only touch your own body or things you're already wearing. I know. Everyone take out your textbooks and open to page three. I can't. You can't touch anything again today, Bailey? Just how it is, I'm sorry. You can follow along with what we're doing on the board. Hey, do you think you can hand me a pencil by any chance? No, uh, I'm sorry. Why not? I can see that you can touch three things. Just use one of them. No, I'm sorry. Just ask someone else. I want you to do it. Hey, what are you doing? Let go of me. Look, it's not that hard. Bitch, did you just slap me? Yes. You're gonna regret doing that. Reason? Reason of what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. You have to pick the reason you die. I don't want to choose the reason that I die. You have to. We all do. Well, it's definitely not going to be by drowning. I'm going to pick the most painless one that I can. Good luck. I don't think any of the options are good. Murder? Oh my god, that's way worse. No. Can this give me an option that doesn't suck brutally? <laughs> Bailey! Oh, sis, what's wrong? I didn't pick a reason in time and it picked one for me. What? It picked one for you? Apparently you only get three choices. I didn't know that. I'm so scared to ever get into a car again. I'm so sorry. Be careful with your choices, okay? I will. Please just give me something painless. I don't remember anything that happened last night. Where am I right now? Welcome to your escape room. You must complete five tasks in order to leave. What? I don't want to play this game. You must play. Let me out of here. If you fail to complete all five tasks, you will not be making it out alive. What can you hold in your right hand but not your left? I don't know. My left hand. That wasn't so bad. There is no way I am doing that. Please just let me out of here. Okay. That hurt. What now? How am I supposed to give myself a tattoo? No. If we don't leave now, he's gonna come out to kill you. Okay, let's go. Shouldn't we like call the police on him though? No, that's what I did and in the future they never got him. I'm gonna save you from all of this. I'll be right back. How are you gonna save me? I'm gonna kill him so that you can have a normal life. What? Isn't that a bad idea? Of course not. It'll be fine. Okay, I did it. It's done. That was so fast. I have to go back to the future now. Bye. You're just gonna leave? I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't get home right now. She just killed someone and wants me to go get a Red Bull? Fine, whatever. There she is! Excuse me, is your name Bailey? Yes. You're under arrest for the murder of your recent boyfriend. Whoa, whoa, I didn't do that. This videotape is showing you committing the crime. That's not me. The, uh, you have the right to remain silent. You'll be coming to the station with us. Today I'm going to be picking out my outfit with a blindfold on. We have moved to the inside of my closet and I'm just going to blindfold myself. I don't even know where I'm going. We're just going to reach this one. I feel like I should look. <laughs> okay, we might as well pick out a code too. What's this? Oh, I actually really like this jacket. Now on the floor, and whatever the first shoes I touch are, I'm gonna wear them. Okay. Oh! This is my skirt drawer, honestly. I, oh, 
I'm just gonna dig through here. I'm gonna go for the bottom ones because I don't even know what's down there. What am I holding on to? Okay, hello? Let's just try on the full fit and see what it looks like. Are we ready for the final fit? Because I don't know if you can handle all this. <laughs> Upon putting this top on, I realized that it's actually broken. This is kind of a moment. And then we just lift the leg, mm, put it back down, put it back down. Rate my outfit one to 10 in the comments. <laughs> Weekend one of Coachella is sadly over, so I'm gonna rate all the outfits that I wore this year. Okay, this was my day one outfit. I'm obsessed with it. It's giving 2000s Avril Lavigne. The only thing I would have changed about this is I wish the short was like ever so slightly shorter. But the Converse were a smart pick because last year I wore heels and I learned my damn lesson. I'm gonna give this one like a seven out of 10. Day two, oh. I was dying over this and everyone else was also dying over this. It's giving bitch on the back of the motorcycle that you could never stop thinking about when you see her. This is a 10 out of 10. I would have not changed anything about this look at all. It was perfect. This is day three and it was really, really cute, but so impractical. I had to fully tape the top to my body because it would not stay where it was supposed to be. The skirt was also falling. You can see my underwear in this pic, but regardless, it was iconic. I'm gonna give this one like a nine out of 10. The fringe gloves, oh. I'm so sad that Coachella is over, but I'm also glad that I had a redemption arc from whatever my outfits were last year. One, How can well, you at least he's popular. You Honey, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, just checking, I love you. I love you too, mom. I know it's been hard, but try to have a good day, okay? I will. Guys, it's about to be midnight. I'm so nervous to see how many smiles I got. It'll be a lot, you're the happiest person I know. I hope so. Oh, wait, it's happening right now. I have a thousand. What about you? One. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I just won't smile. Are you sure? I've never seen you sad. Hey, Bailey. Hey, guys. Um, whoa, what is wrong with you? I only got one smile. Oh, that sucks. I have 4,000. Wait, does that mean you can't smile like at all? No, only the one time. Ew, we can't hang out with you. Come on, guys, let's go. I I'm sorry, I have to follow them. Don't listen to them. They're assholes. It's not your fault. They were my only friends. I'll be your only friend instead, then. Also, I might have a way of helping you out. Why you gotta be so mean? You need to stay away from my boyfriend. He's coming over, and I know that you like him. Maybe we got lost in translation? Don't pretend like you don't know. I saw you flirting with him. It must be exhausting always rooting for the anti-hero. Oh, hey, Bailey. Uh, I like your outfit today. Lately, I've been dressing for revenge. I'm glad you're in a good mood. That made my day a little bit better. Everything will be all right if you keep me next to you. Wait, really? Uh, That's really sweet of you. You belong with me. To be honest, I'm in love with you, not your sister. I used her to get here. Boys only want love if it's torture. I knew it. I knew you were trying to steal my boyfriend this whole time. There's nothing I do better than revenge. How could you do this to me? You're my sister. Don't blame me. Love made me crazy. There is something seriously wrong with you, and you were done. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. <sighs> Why am I on a beach? I must have gone too hard last night if I don't even remember where I'm at. That guy over there is like not moving. I should probably check if he's okay. Hello, sir, are you okay? Dude, yo, maybe he'll wake up if I slap him. <laughs> that was a lot of water. Are you okay? You, you just saved my life. Oh, no, I was just walking by. Was that a mermaid? Forget about that. I'm in love with you. You've saved me. <gasps> I was not supposed to find you. What? What are you talking about? Nothing. You have to come meet my father. I can show him I finally found a wife. I'm sorry, wife? I'm Prince Eric and I would love for you to be my princess. <laughs> I can't get married to you. What? You have to marry me. That's how the story goes. Oh, there you are. Good morning, dork. I am not a dork. Whatever you say. Hey, do you think my new haircut looks dumb? I don't like it. I think it looks really good. Right, you have to say that because you're my best friend. That's not true, you look great. Did you hear that we're getting a new student too? Yeah, we haven't had a new student in so long. <laughs> I know, I wonder who it's gonna be. Class, everyone meet Macy. Whoa, she's so pretty. Yeah, I, I guess so. Hey Macy, you should come over here. Take a seat next to us. 
guys. Uh, my name's Jason, and this is Bailey. Nice to meet you. You should come sit with us at lunch. Would that be okay? Yeah, for sure. Good morning. Uh, you didn't leave a seat open for me. Oh, my bad. I kind of forgot. I'll see you at lunch then. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Macy, what were you saying? Girl, you better tell him that you love him. I don't love him. Are you sure about that? You dropped this. Oh, thank you. I don't even own a TV. Whatever, I guess I'll just throw this away. What is this? I guess the only way to find out is to push one. Now I just have to figure out what that exactly paused. Why did all those people freeze at the exact same time? Does this pause time? Oh, I'm gonna get some good use out of this. Everyone, please put your phones away for the test. I forgot about the test. I know what to do. Just gonna steal the answer key real quick. Don't mind me, sorry. Play. You may now begin, you have one hour. Hey, uh, can I talk to you? What's up, babe? Yeah, so I'm sorry, but I have to break up with you. What? Mm, just one second. Hey, babe. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? I'm breaking up with you. What, are you serious? Yeah, bye. Come on, please don't be anything bad. Okay, how was that a curse? I mean, we basically read each other's minds anyway. So do I tell her I can read her mind now? Nah, I don't want to creep her out. That's kind of weird. Hey. Hey. How did you look so nice today? You look so pretty today, too. I mean, you look so pretty every day, honestly. Um, thanks. She totally lied. Why would she think I was lying to her? Bye, babe. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys are so cute. I have to get them to break up. I can't wait to get a whole thing out of the picture. I don't understand why she would be thinking all this stuff. Unless maybe she likes me. Does this mean she's gonna try and ruin my relationship with Chris? I'm overthinking. There's no way this Amber Alert's for him. Breaking news, a teenage boy has been reported missing tonight. Chase? Hey girl, how are you? Not good. Didn't she hear the news about Jace? No. Macy, he's missing. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? I gotta get to class. I think she might have Jace. That's it. I have to go talk to her. You wanted to talk to me? Uh, yeah. And, um, listen, this is kind of hard to say, but I know that you like me. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just good. She doesn't like her. She hasn't gone It's just. It's just that I have a boyfriend. Mm, well, he's missing. Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the. Achoo! No! At least it's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised. I know, I'm so sorry. Come on, girl, you're like the mutual friend. If you don't come, then no one else is gonna wanna come. Look, my parents said no. She doesn't wanna come to your party because she doesn't like you. You sure that's the reason? Yes, I wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. She's lying. Your mom just grounded her. Mom just grounded you? How did you know that? You weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. Ugh, whatever. Does this hair clip tell me the truth about people? Hey babe, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry babe, I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. Hey babe, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart, then where does he... I'm following him. What is he doing here? This place looks super sketchy. What do you think you're doing, huh? Come here. Hey, boss, look who I found snooping around here. Babe, what, what is going on? Babe, you know this girl? I've never seen her before in my life. I'm sorry, did our two years together just mean nothing to you? Two years? Have you been keeping secrets from me? I told you, you know what the rules are. He's trying to protect you by lying. He works for very dangerous men. You know what, my bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. 
What did I tell you? No attachments. Which means no girlfriend. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. He's lying to protect you. You know what? My bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. What did I tell you? No attachments. Which means no girlfriend. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. <laughs> you see, sir, I would kill her, but you know, I don't want to mess up this new shirt. So. Either you kill her, or him and I will do it ourselves. No, please. Look, let's just all settle down. You just... I think I'm gonna need a change of clothes. Really, babe? The Mafia? You're lucky I find that kind of attractive. Well, I know a place where you lay low. I bet. We gotta be careful what you trust. I have something that can help with that. You need a job, girl. Yeah, I know. I only have $20 in my account. You know that nanny app? Yeah. Apparently some billionaire is looking for a nanny. Let me see. He's kind of cute. It says he wants them to be CPR certified, have five years of experience with working with kids, and a college degree. All things I don't have. But he doesn't know that. Stacy, no, we are not faking documents. You need money, honey. <laughs> don't. Don't give me that look. Wow, this is amazing. Your resume is just outstanding. Thank you. When can you start? Oh, I'm free to start whenever you like. <laughs> All right, okay, here you go. I'm gonna give you your first paycheck right now. I got two other kids right there. Say hi, girls. This is your new nanny. Hi. Can she cook? Oh, well, actually... Yeah, her resume says she can cook anything. Since you're a chef, can you make a sushi? Yeah, whatever you girls want. Yes. yes. Hi, I just want to order some sushi, but I need it delivered out back. <laughs> Don't you dare snitch on me. Mmm, this is so good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Daddy used to cook for us, but now he's too busy with his job. Yeah. You know, what is your dad's job anyway? <laughs> We're not allowed to say. Who made this? Oh, that would be me. Hi, I'm the new nanny. And who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend, and I'm allergic to sushi. Throw this away. Just go in the other room. It's not bothering you. Ow! Hey! <sighs> it's fine, honey. Darren gave me permission to discipline the girls. Are you okay? I have to tell your dad about that. Don't bother. He he won't believe you. She acts different around him. Excuse me, sir. Lucy, hey. This is for you for being so great today. Now if you'll excuse me. Is that a gun? Is that a gun? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Why do you have that? What is your job? Listen, Lucy, if you're going to work for me, there's some questions that are off limits, and that's one of them. Excuse me? No, I want to know that I'm safe here. You are very safe with me, Lucy. I promise. Actually, sir, I came up here to talk to you about your girlfriend. What about me? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, what about her? I was just gonna say that she's gorgeous. Darren already knows that. Don't you, babe? Quite all. You about me? No, not really. I told you. Listen, girls, don't worry. I'm gonna find a way to expose her. No, baby. He's just a job. You're the one that I love. We'll talk later, okay? Bye. Lucy, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but I did. No, you didn't. That's a lot of money, huh? It can all be yours. If you keep your mouth shut. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah. I love you girls, too. Then tell him I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the Mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. Oh, I got, I got it. it. Uh, <laughs> you know, you got really nice... Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I told you to go. She needs to be fed. I can take care of that. Sir, please don't fire me. I know I shouldn't have lied about my resume, but I do care about your girls. And if you fire me, they're going to be heartbroken. 
The kids will be fine, Lucy. Well, then you should know that your girlfriend is cheating on you. What are you talking about? She's lying. I heard her on the phone in the closet. She paid me not to say anything. I did not. You lied to me once, you're probably lying to me again. But, sir... You're fired, hun. Get over it. Give me the baby. No. Lucy. Shh, it's okay. Lucy, where are you going? I'm so sorry. I'll be taking that money back. <laughs> It'll be okay. No, it's not gonna be okay. I failed them. Oh, his girlfriend is so evil. No, baby, he's just a job. You're the one that I love. I think she's out to get his money. Huh? The kids are in danger. I have to go help them. Where's Daddy? Sorry, honey, but Daddy's getting interrogated right now. <laughs> I have to get in there. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, boss, look who I found. Well, well. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Yes, girls, stop struggling. Everything will be fine. For me. Actually, no, it's not. Because I may not be a chef or have graduated from college. Quite but there's one thing that I didn't put on my resume hall. that's uh, about to come in real handy right now. And what's that? How did you... I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, bitch. Lucy. Girls. It's okay. Lucy, is everyone all right? Yeah, Lucy saved us. You're hurt. I'm fine. Thank you. Daddy... Does this mean that Lucy can stay? Yeah, I just hope she can forgive me for being so... Now they have to get married. Yeah, or at least give her a raise, Dad. <laughs> Maybe I'll do both. I got 69 crushes. There's no way that's true. And why not? How many crushes do you have? None, but I don't need any. Oh. Here, you drop this. Thank you. Whoa. I got one crush already? That was fast. How did my crushes go up that fast? I haven't even spoken to anyone. Hey, Brianna. Hi. Hey, Brianna. What is going on? I'm like all of a sudden popular. Whoa, there's no way I have over a thousand crushes now. I don't even know that many people. Um, Brianna, I think it's because of this. Oh. My. Um, Brianna, I think it's because of this. Oh. My. You got this. That is not how I remember it. Oh. Here. You dropped this. Oh my gosh, it's hair flip, girl. Quick, do the hair flip. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm running late to class. Look at Brianna sitting there. She's such a pick-me. I know, she's just sitting there like, pick-me, pick-me. You guys know I can hear you, right? Hair flip, hair flip, hair okay, flip. Hey, I'll do it. Whoa, yo, I got that on video. Hey, bestie. It's so nice to finally be popular. Wait, why are my crushes going down so fast? You might want to see this. It's time for your fifth mark. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm finally going to be five. Congratulations! Yay, me! Time for your 10th mark. Finally! I'm so excited to grow up. And you're all done. It's time for your 17th mark. You're going to be an adult next year. There, you're officially 17. Now you only have one year to figure out what you're going to do for the rest of your life. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. It's almost time for our yearly mark. Have you applied to any schools yet? No, I haven't decided yet. Well, now's the time to figure it out. We're getting our marks tomorrow. We're going to be adults. All right, it's time for your 18th mark. I hope you're ready for adulthood. Actually, I have to use the washroom. I'll be right back. What would happen if I don't get my 18th mark? Would they even notice I'm gone? I'm not going back there. Um, I'm home. What? How is that possible? I only have 17 marks. Look who just turned 18. Yeah, I guess I am. Let me see your new mark. No, you're not 18. You only have 17 marks. That's so weird. I got my 18th mark. I must not be 18 yet. Look at us. We're 18 now. Wait, where's your 18th mark? I... I got my mark. It just didn't show up. I guess I'm not meant to be 18 yet. Did you hear? Her 18th mark never showed up when she got it. She's still 17. That's not even possible. Brianna? Uh, yes? Please go to the office. There's someone here to see you. Ooh, she's in trouble. Do you even know what you've done? 
You've messed with time as we know it. No one in the history has missed getting their mark. There's major consequences for this. What's going to happen is... Come on, please give me blue. Mom will disown me if I get red. Pink. What the hell is pink? Why are you wearing that shirt? Oh, because that's the color I was assigned. You need to go take it off right now. What? Why? You cannot be walking around wearing pink. Go put on blue instead. Okay, jeez. Is this better? Yeah, nobody will be able to tell now. Okay, good. Oh, Bailey, you got blue too? Um, yeah, I did. Why did you say it like that? You seem nervous. Like what? I'm not nervous. I heard that Martha got the color purple. Like what? <laughs> purple? That's crazy. What does that mean? I don't know, but they said they're gonna kill anyone with a different color. They're gonna what? Um, yeah, you didn't know that? Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I just hope that nobody got pink. That's the worst color of all. What did you say? If we don't leave now, he's gonna come out to kill you. Okay, let's go. Shouldn't we, like, call the police on him, though? No, that's what I did, and in the future, they never got him. I'm gonna save you from all of this. I'll be right back. How are you gonna save me? I'm gonna kill him so that you can have a normal life. What? Isn't that a bad idea? Of course not. It'll be fine. Okay, I did it. It's done. That was so fast. I have to go back to the future now. Bye. You're just gonna leave? I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't get home right now. She just killed someone and wants me to go get a Red Bull? Fine, whatever. There she is. Excuse me. Is your name Bailey? Yes. You're under arrest for the murder of your recent boyfriend. Whoa, whoa. I didn't do that. This videotape is showing you committing the crime. That's not me. The, uh, you have the right to remain silent. You'll be coming to the station with us. Today I'm gonna be taking out my outfit with a blindfold on. We have moved to the inside of my closet and I'm just gonna blindfold myself. I don't even know where I'm going. We're just gonna reach this one. I feel like I should look. <laughs> okay, we might as well pick out a coat too. What's this? Oh, I actually really like this jacket. Now on the floor and whatever the first shoes I touch are, I'm gonna wear them. Okay. Ah! This is my skirt drawer, honestly. I, oh, I'm just gonna dig through here. I'm gonna go for the bottom ones because I don't even know what's down there. What am I holding on to? Okay, hello? Let's just try on the full fit and see what it looks like. Are we ready for the final fit? Because I don't know if you can handle all this. Upon putting this top on, I realize that it's actually broken. <laughs> this is kind of a moment. And then we just lift the leg, mm, put it back down, put it back down. Rate my outfit one to 10 in the comments. <laughs> Aw, you're so silly putting stickers on your face. <laughs> no, you killed your big sister. You can't ever laugh. It kills people. Look what you've done. Dizzy. Here, before coming into the classroom, you must put this tape over your mouth. Why? It's a precaution issued by the school board, as kids are the highest risk for laughter. I don't want to wear the tape anymore. You must wear it. <laughs> We're just kids. You didn't do it on purpose. Listen, kid. I saved your life. You could have died. You should be thanking me. Mommy, you forgot to pick me up from school. Good evening. Police officer. There was an incident of laughing at your mother's work. She didn't make it. Stop laughing. Stop laughing. What's going on here? You killed Officer Brad. Uh oh, we're going to need backup. Did you hear? She killed three police officers when she was seven. You know I can hear you, right? I was just a kid. I was traumatized from my mom just passing away. I couldn't control it. You're a murderer. A psycho. I can't listen to this any longer. Hey, are you okay? I can't believe what they're saying about you. I'm used to it. Want to hang out after school? There's somewhere I want to show you. We're almost there. Where are you taking me? We're here. In the middle of nowhere? You know those three police officers you killed? One of them was my dad. <laughs> Sissy! Oh no. Ellie? Sissy! Ellie! Did they lock you in the cabinet? Hurry, I'm losing oxygen! No, this better be the one. Ellie! 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 Ellie
Ashley. I'm so glad you found me. It was so scary. They took me and hid me in the cabinet. This game is sick. Brianna, why do you look so down today? My little sister was chosen to be hidden this morning. I almost didn't find her in time. How about we make a pact? Pinky promised that if either of us gets hidden, we'll find each other. Pinky promised. It's your turn to be hidden. It's your turn to hide. Get in there. Where did they lock me? Help! Help! I was chosen to play hide and seek. Please, someone find me. Help! I don't have much time left. Help! Jake! Did you call my name? Jake, you found me. Of course I did. I promise you. I can't believe they locked you in a locker. It was awful. Well, it's a good thing I found you in time. You're the best, Jake. Girl, there you are. I was wondering what happened to you. You weren't in class. I got chosen to play hide and seek. Luckily, Jake was there to save me. Hey, it was nothing. I'll catch you later. Catch you later, Jake. Wait, you dropped this. Come on, make me something good. A penguin and a backpack? No freaking way. I love this. I got a magic wallet that gives me money. That is so cool. I know, right? What'd you get? I got a penguin backpack, but I don't really know what it does yet. I'm gonna go get some food. See you. Okay, bye. Man, I really wish I had some water. Whoa, is it just me or did this thing get heavier? No way. There is like a bunch of waters in here. This backpack must grant wishes. Okay, let's just test this again. I wish for $100 in 20s. This is amazing. I'm home. I wish for some headphones. Hey sis, what's this? Aren't you kind of old to have a stuffed animal backpack? Give it back. Wait a minute, what's inside of here? Hey, how'd you get all this money? Did you steal this money? No, it was my magic gift. It grants me wishes. Yeah, right. Prove it. All right. I wish for a necklace. Nothing happened. I must have to be holding on to it for it to work. Nice try. I know you're stealing money. You probably think you're so cool, but you're not. Ugh. Oh, yeah? How about now, Benson? That's it. Where are you? I wish to be at a friend's house. I really hope you can do that. <laughs> Whoa, hey. Oh, hey, Chad. Uh, how, how'd you get in here? Uh, your back door was open. Sweet. I was wondering if you wanted to come to prom with me. Yeah. I gotta check on something. Be right back. Okay. He asked me to prom, but I don't even have a dress. Wait. I wish for a red dress that's kind of fitted, but not too fitted. You know what I mean, Penguin. Just work your magic. Oh my gosh, yes, this is perfect. I should also wish for some accessories and- Hey, there's some cops in the front of my house and they say they're- Girls, the letters from your soulmates have arrived. One for you, Franny. Yay. And one for you, Olivia. Thank you, Mother. Is there one for me? Why, yes, dear. <laughs> this is yours. It's empty. How fitting. What is that supposed to mean? The only person who could love you is- No one. <laughs> <laughs> There has to be some sort of mistake. There's not even a stamp on this envelope. The king himself sends out these letters. Are you questioning his authority? No, I just... There has to be a note for me or something. Mother, you have something for her. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I do. What's this? A list of chores that need to be completed. You shall not eat until they're done. So get to it. Ah, oh, no. My letter... She threw it away? It has the royal stamp on it, which means my soulmate letter is from the prince. I look forward to seeing you at the royal ball. Sincerely, Prince Anthony. My soulmate is the prince. No one can know about this. Brielle, pour me my tea. Yes, ma'am. Mother, we have nothing to wear to the ball. We need some more dresses. You have plenty of dresses that you can wear. Don't be selfish. What did you just say? Ooh, she's gonna get it now. You should apologize to mother. I... <gasps> that wasn't my fault. She... she pushed me. You idiot. I am so sorry. <sighs> Come here. You're staying in here tonight. No, please. Please let me out. Hello? Anyone? 
Brielle, wake up. Olivia, what are you doing? I'm gonna help you. Layla, where are you? You're supposed to be my backup. Layla! She just put in the chat that she's out of speaking time. And we just lost. Your mother requests to see you. Guys, I gotta head off. See you later, rich girl. Must be nice to have a butler. Shut up. Tell her I'll be right there. Bye. Darling, meet my new boyfriend. What's up? Mom, can I speak to you alone for a minute? Okay, I'll be right back, babe. Mom, he is like 25. You realize that you're 40 now, right? So? Age is just a number and he makes me happy. Don't you want me to be happy? Yeah, man, she's hot and loaded. Nah, she doesn't even know about my secret. Dude, her daughter's kind of hot too. I'm just in this for the money though. Shit, you scared me. Wait, how long have you been standing out here? Hey, hold on. Mom, your boyfriend is a- Aw, you're out of speaking time, honey. I thought you had an hour left. Guess there was a glitch. Honey, enough charades. I don't understand. Well, that was weird. <gasps> Young lady, what is wrong with you? I'm so sorry, babe. Go to your room. You seem stressed. Here, take your squishy. You know, you could use your phone to communicate. She's not picking up? They did leave saying they wanted alone time. <sighs> yes! Oh, he is so busted. Mom, there's something I need- I have to take a phone call, excuse me. Don't worry, I'll keep her company. You stay out of my way. This is your final warning. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Her boyfriend's controlling your speaking time? Yeah, I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense. <clears throat> the boyfriend has left. Time for me to expose him. Hi, Mom. I see your boyfriend isn't around. He went to go get me coffee. Isn't that sweet? No, actually not sweet, because he has a big secret. And one of them is that he's been stealing my speaking time. Hey, I'm back. No, watch, Mom. My speaking time is just going to magically disappear now. What? Seems fine to me, honey. Okay, fine. If I saw my voice, then I'm going to use it. I heard you saying that you had a secret. A secret? Oh, boy. I wanted this to be a surprise, but oh, well. Evelyn, will you make me the happiest man alive and marry me? Babe, yes! <laughs> I cannot let her marry him. Hey, what is this? This is how he's been controlling my speaking time. Give me that! I warned you! Come here! Your plan to expose me didn't work. Your mom and I are going to get married today in Las Vegas. Babe, where are you? Coming, sweetheart. Sadie, there you are. I had a feeling you might be in need of some help. There we go. Are you quite all right, Miss Sadie? Here you are. I took this off of Mr. Blake. Shall I get us a cab for Las Vegas? Oh, yeah. I now pronounce you husband. Stop the wedding. Your fiancé, Blake, is a psychotic little gold digger. Babe, I thought she was sick. No, Mom. He locked me in my makeup room. What? She's lying. I saw her myself, and he's also been stealing her speaking time. I have not. How could he do that? With this. Hey! You give that back, you little- I think you've said enough. You jerk! That's for messing with my daughter. Ugh. And that's for taking my speaking time.